Alright, you guys want to see something cool? I got this phone. HTC, uh, whatever. T Mobile My Touch. It's a Google phone. <coughs> and there's an application on it from VLC called VLC Remote. VLC Remote, right there. Okay. And. Let me just show you. Press that. How did I do that? Okay. There we go. Remote controls. My uh, VLC. Tuckered out from the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is tasty. You know what? Let's uh. Come. See. You? can skip to different parts of the movie right there change the volume pause play and it was extremely easy to set up let me show you how easy it was to set up let me pause the movie real quick. Stop, it's fine. Okay, open up VLC. Go to View, Add Interface, check Web Interface. Go to Tools, Preferences, Show Settings, check All. Go to Interface main interface HTTP source directory you put in the source directory of the, the of the the program the um, the web server so for me it's program files x86 video land VLC HTTP save that I can close that now then on VLC go to open file location there's a folder there's the folder HTTP the file dot host and then is all I had to do was uncomment I better comment that back um, uncomment the line 192.168.0.0 because all of the all the machines all the IP addresses on my wireless LAN are on the LAN 192.168 so I just uncomment that out save that okay close all that open up a movie on VLC. A lot of times I gotta go to add interface and check web interface again. But it's that easy. Then um, just to make sure you can go open up your web browser. 172.0.0.1 colon 80.80 is the default port and this comes up this is the web console so if you see there pauses the movie play the movie jump to different scenes and it's the same plugin that I can use Got my dual screens. And it's that same plugin that I can use on my Android phone. Um, you have to have your Android phone connected to the same wireless LAN that your, your server is connected to. So like my cable modem right there, that's also my wireless access point that my phone is connected to. So 
I just went to when you have this program open you press menu go to settings like that connected to my Wi-Fi network Bam. comes up says the name of the movie you can also there's also a way to do it so it'll do streaming video which is pretty cool I haven't tried to do that yet Press full screen. Found out that it works better if you turn it sideways for uh, going to different parts of the movie, skipping forward. But that was really cool. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do. Google Android phone, VLC, wireless network, really, really cool stuff. Alright, bye.